We're here today to talk about viticulture and how we're bringing agri-tech to the viticulture sector. We're here at Jojo's Vineyard. So at Jojo's we're growing six different varieties of, of grapes and we'll make still and sparkling wine. We have received some funding from Innovate UK and also from EIT Food. It's looking at how we can map digital infrastructure in a vineyard. So I became involved in a project in Australia called Collabriculture, which was to put in place a structure for the establishment of a reliable, exchangeable, open source infrastructure model and test it and try it and make that data shareable with any software developer or any robot company or drone company. So we're looking at the posts, we're looking at the wires, we're mapping them to RTK level, so down to about two centimetre accuracy. So we're then able to use drone technology in particular, hyperspectral data, multispectral, LiDAR and RGB. But we're also hoping to bring in robots that are looking at the vineyards at a different perspective, building up levels of data which will give us insight into what's actually happening in the vineyard. And we're now just coming into picking season. We've had different types of drones doing different types of, of scanning and sensing of both the canopy and the vineyard itself and understanding what is going on within the soil. So today we have a CIST, this is our logistics robot. Labour is a huge portion of costs, especially during harvesting. So a CIST is there to really aid harvesting, to move both empty and full trays to stations and back to the pickers. What it'll do is hopefully help with allowing people to pick rather than just transport and carry and to have less weight in the vineyard of tractors and trailers up and down the vine rows. That will help the soil structure. We're developing the layers of digital infrastructure that's needed for not only our robots but all ag tech devices. If a farmer has a digital infrastructure it essentially means that we can drop the robot and our target is within 15 minutes that the robot can begin to work. So our vision is to have a fleet of robotics at the farm doing different applications and for that we need the digital infrastructure like in terms of a robot knowing how to navigate around the farm and a central processor knowing where to send robots and that will speed the opportunity up across vineyards and orchards and a load of other crop types. Data gives us the ability to make decisions. So the more data you have, and the, the better it's integrated with other streams of data, gives us good decision-making platform. Hyperspectral imagery in particular can show us different stress levels in plants, which might be the indicator of water stress, heat stress, disease, or pest problems. If we're able to take data from a drone and then navigate a robot to go and have a look at fruit, we're able to sense and understand what is going on from a fruit perspective. So if we've got that level of data, we can then start taking intervention measures at early stages. We can start looking at the yield mapping, which may be able to target where we resource and target our labour for harvesting purposes. And that's true both in orchards and in vineyards. So we're using NFC tags on the crates where we're able to position and um, GPS locate the position of the crate in the vineyard. And then we bring the crate back to the weigh station. We read the tag, take the weight, join them together and then we're able to produce a yield map that then completes the circle of all the data that we've gathered over the growing season. So a lot of the drone technology and the scanning technology is about estimation which is really useful during the season. When we come to the end of the year we like to compare what the estimated yields are going to be in comparison to the actual yields. For each grower has a different set of requirements hence it's working with the growers and helping each other to optimise the process. If we don't start gathering data we won't as an industry improve and so it fills me with huge excitement of looking at the drone technology that is out there and the sensing technology that at some stage we will be able to convert that data into methodology that we can uh, employ in the vineyard and it's using this technology that will hopefully over a period of time allow us to focus on improving the quality of product that we've got and producing something that is very uniquely British and I'm so excited by it. It's embedding robotics today but with half an eye in the future and see you know, how can we optimise and really grow sustainability and precision. We're really excited by this. It's a departure for us from our normal activity in agriculture and horticulture. So watch this space for updates. We're really excited to see the outputs.